As the esteemed proprietor of approximately 86 billion neurons, those magnificent nerve cells nestled within the confines of your extraordinary brain, you possess an awe-inspiring cognitive prowess that sets you apart from the rest. Discover the secret to maintaining your mental acuity and blissful state of mind, a treasure coveted by all, particularly as the years gracefully pass by. Experience a complete metamorphosis as we guide you to unlock the full potential of your mind with a daily dose of invigorating mental exercises. Introducing the revolutionary concept of Neurobics, the incredible world of brain aerobics, a revolutionary way to exercise your mind. Your brain will be stimulated to produce more connections between different areas of the brain. Nerve cells will produce natural brain nutrients that significantly improve memory, and surrounding cells will become stronger and more resistant to the effects of aging if you provide your brain with new experiences that combine your physical senses, vision, smell, touch, taste, and hearing with your emotional sense. Put these mental workouts to the test throughout your morning routine or during your free time and see if you notice a change in your performance. Number one, brush with your non-dominant hand. Research has shown that activating the opposite side of your brain, as in the case of this exercise, can lead to rapid and large growth in parts of the cortex that are responsible for directing and processing tactile input from the hand. This growth can be attributed to the fact that the other side of the brain is employed in this activity. By brushing your teeth with the hand you would not normally use, you're giving your brain a workout throughout this activity. Additionally, make sure you remember to open the toothpaste container and apply it in the opposite manner you normally would. Number two, physical care for mental health. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you're taking care of your body if you want to take care of your mind. The behaviors that were considered to be healthy included not smoking, maintaining a healthy body mass index, BMI, engaging in regular physical activity, eating a large quantity of vegetables and fruits, and drinking a moderate and low amount of alcohol. Therefore, if you want to improve your mental capacity, you should begin by focusing on improving your physical health. You should go for a walk, begin to increase the amount of fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet, and make an effort to kick behaviors that are detrimental to your health, such as drinking too much alcohol or smoking cigarettes. There's a possibility that some of these will be more challenging than others, but your brain will be grateful to you for many years to come. Number three, acquire brand new knowledge. This mental workout requires a certain level of effort on your side, but it is also one that has the ability to give you the highest value for your money so that you may get the most out of your investment. Engaging in the process of learning something new is one way to keep your brain busy and continually provide it with new challenges. This can be accomplished by engaging in the aforementioned approach. Try your hand at learning a new language, learning to play a musical instrument, or learning a new hobby. All of these are great options for you to consider. Each of them is an illustration of something that ought to be taken into consideration. While you are continually expanding your skill set and attaining more success, you'll not only be testing your intellect, but you'll also be learning something new on a consistent basis. This is because you'll be challenged to challenge your brain. Number four, engage in meditation. You might not have given much thought to the fact that meditation is a form of mental exercise. Nonetheless, it has the potential to be quite successful. In particular, the practice of mindfulness meditation is recommended by positive psychologists on a regular basis due to the excellent impacts that it brings about. Research has shown that the practices of mindfulness and meditation are connected with better neuroplasticity, decreased brain aging, and enhanced cognitive function. These findings are in conformity with the conclusion of the research. Number five, brain training games. What are they good for? A good number of countless brain training games, websites, and apps that are currently accessible have probably at least been brought to your attention, and you may have even experimented with some of them. There are a good number of possibilities that you have carried out such an activity. They assert that the computerized brain exercise have the potential to increase your mental flexibility, allow you to maintain your intellectual acuity as you get older, and even make you more sophisticated. Quite a few of these devices boast that they are capable of doing all of these functions. On the other hand, if you're currently spending an excessive amount of time staring at the screen of your computer or smartphone, you'd probably be better off spending your time going for a walk, taking up a new hobby, or even paying a visit to a friend. These are all activities that you could spend your time doing instead of staring at a screen. When it comes to health and vitality of your brain, each and every one of these activities has the potential to have substantial and long-lasting impacts. Number six, engage in social activities. When you interact with other people, you tend to engage multiple regions of your brain. Furthermore, many social activities also involve physical components, such as participating in a sport, which are equally good to your mind. The pursuit of social contacts can be advantageous to your brain in both the short term and the long term, even if you're an introvert who has never been able to shake the habit. 
Some suggestions for maintaining social engagement include engaging in volunteer work in your neighborhood by signing up for opportunities, participate in a club, participating in a walking group in the neighborhood, or even making sure you maintain close relationships with your family and friends. Number seven, using your memory. Create a map of your town. In spite of the fact that you might believe that you are able to navigate the streets of your neighborhood with your eyes closed, you should strive to challenge your brain by actually sketching a map of your town or neighborhood from memory. There will be no cheating. You should make an effort to include important routes, large secondary streets, and landmarks in the area. When you're finished, you should examine your memory map in comparison to the real map of the region. So, how did you fare? It's surprising to see that there are certain things that you failed to notice. Try drawing a less familiar region from memory, such as a map of the entire United States or Europe, and attempting to identify every state or country. If you found this practice to be simple, you could try drawing other regions from memory. When you are behind the wheel of your vehicle, there's a possibility that navigating your way to the grocery store or the doctor's office will appear to be a straightforward and nearly automated. In spite of this, forcing yourself to remember the structures of your neighborhood as well as drawing and labeling it helps activate a range of different regions in your brain. Number eight, aerobic. According to Small, engaging in regular aerobic activity not only increases the amount of blood that flows to your brain, but it also increases the size of your hippocampus. This is a region of your brain that is responsible for learning and verbal memory. A study that was conducted in 2017 and published in the Journal of Journatology Series A, Biological Science and Medical Science, discovered a correlation between insufficient physical activity and an increased likelihood of developing dementia. MRI scans were also performed on approximately 2,000 individuals aged 60 or older, and the researchers discovered that the larger the hippocampus of the individual was, the more activity there were. What's the best part? Furthermore, the preventative effects were greatest in individuals who were beyond the age of 75, providing additional evidence that it's never too late to begin. According to the most recent standards for physical activity, older individuals should strive to engage in at least 150 minutes per week of activity of moderate intensity. However, you might want to think about incorporating high-intensity activity burst into your routine. According to the findings of a recent study that was published in the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health, persons who participated in intense physical exercise for a short period of time, we're talking about six to seven minutes, noticed gains to their memory as well as their ability to plan and organize their activities. By engaging your brain in new ways and using senses in different ways, you're going to be supercharging your brain power and unlocking your limitless creativity. That's the lowdown in aerobic exercises, engaging every single one of your senses. Remember the next time you find yourself tackling a routine task? Why not spice things up and approach it in a whole new way? Trust me, it's as simple as that. Stay tuned for more exciting tips and tricks, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the latest updates.